What's up, fellas? So today we're here to talk about a girl that flaked on two dates, but she's reached back out. Now, guys, I would not classify this as an attention whore. I would classify this as a girl who either had very low initial interest or didn't have any initial interest. All right, guys, uh, an attention whore is like this, guys. She has low interest, right? But she keeps wanting to communicate. All right. So she keeps. So you that's hypothetically say you got a girl. You got a number. What an attention whore do is she keeps wanting fucking attention. All right. This girl here, he had when he stopped communicating, he didn't hear from her no more. So in other words, he was reaching out to her. She wasn't reaching out to him. An attention whore reaches out to you. Hey. How's your day going? It's going great. When are you free to get a drink? Uh, can I check my schedule and get back with you? That's an attention whore. A girl who has low interest, you'll get out, you'll reach out to her to pursue her to want a date, but she won't set a date. This is a girl with low interest who didn't want to hurt your feelings. All right. And this is different from a girl who does a pullback. A girl who does a pullback had interest and through your needed behavior or female manipulation, she's pulling back. All right, this girl here, you never had nothing with her to pull back from. All right, so her interest is, was very low from the beginning. All right, so I wouldn't classify this as an attention whore because she never reached out to pursue you. All right, you did all the pursuing. Attention whores, they reach out to pursue you. Hey, how your day going? They do every fucking thing but set a fucking date. All right, you see the difference between the attention whore and this girl here? So this is a girl who had lower interest. All right, so... Here's the thing, guy. You walked away. He showed high value by walking away, not pursuing, and that raised her interest. All right, so she's reached back out to him on social media, whatever the case may be, or she could have heard something, guys, or saw something. What did I tell you guys before? When women see you with other women or hear about you being with other women, that raises your attraction level to them. All right, so she could have saw something. She could have saw something on social media. Who the fuck knows? A lot of women run background checks. And what I mean by background checks, guys, is they'll go to asking their friends, hey, you heard of this guy? You know this guy such and such, such and such. I had a girl one time. I, this is years ago. This is like when I was like 21. Uh, wouldn't give me the time of day in the club or whatever the case may be. Here is a month. Now she in the club giving me choosing signals. Probably because she heard that I probably fuck a bunch of bad bitches, whatever the case may be. Whatever the case was, she heard something because now she's in the club giving me choosing signals, guys. So she either heard something or saw something. So and to her, my sexual market value had went up. And sometimes this happened, guys. So sometimes you guys will have these flaky women with low interest. And you show high value by walking away. And they will reach back out. Now, how I handle the situation like this, guys, is when they reach out and stuff like this, I let them do all the fucking pursuing. I, I, I let them do all the fucking pursuing. So she might ask you a question. So, hey, how's your day going? I'd be like, oh, it's going all right. I got a little paperwork to do or whatever the case may be. And I won't even ask her a question back. All right. So I don't want to sound but her. It's going all right. Uh, just got to, you know, I don't want to sound like I'm fucking mad because, you know, she ain't want to go out with me the first time. But no, we ain't finna sit up here and carry this chit chat like we best fucking friends either. All right. So I answer a question. Oh, it's going all right, man. Just got a little paperwork or whatever the case may be. Went out last night a little tired and shit. But other than that, everything is great. All right. And I leave it at, let her ask another question. I'm not finna do no fucking pursuit. I'm not even finna ask her no fucking question or nothing. All right. Because this, here's the thing, guys. Her attraction level in you has went up. Now make her do all the fucking chasing. All right. That's how you do that. I actually, I'm up in Atlanta. I actually got a case of attention whore-itis right now. I got a girl that's an attention whore. I asked her. We went out, had drinks the first time, whatever the case may be. Had a good time. She does all the pursuing. She reaches out to me. It's not like I'm reaching out to her. When she reached out, I said, hey, let's meet up and get another drink or whatever the case may be. She claimed that she got to check her schedule or whatever the case may be, and she might be free or whatever the case may be. I said, cool. She hit me back up the next night or whatever the case may be. I didn't respond to it. I saw it. I didn't respond to it. I was with my friends. I could have responded to it, but I was like, you know, this bitch talking about some. she got to check her schedule, so I didn't even respond to it. I responded to it the next day, and I was like, hey, I was out with my friends, whatever the case may be, and she's like, oh, I was available last night. Bitch, 
You think you can hit me up at 9 o'clock at night and I'm just not doing nothing? You got to get on my goddamn schedule. This bitch had the all day. What the fuck? You know, I just wonder about women sometimes. Who the fuck does she think I am? Chopped liver? You think you can just hit me up 9 o'clock on Saturday night? What the fuck you think I'm in the house doing? Watching Mama Family reruns? I The audacity of some women. So let me get this straight. You didn't set your ass there and waited to you exhausted every revenue of entertainment. So I had to make sure no dude that I'm fucking wanted to do nothing. No girlfriends wanted to do nothing. No co-workers. Okay, I'll get back to him. Let me see if he's doing anything right now. Y'all guys see that shit right there? Now... If I was going to be in Atlanta long enough, I could fuck this chick. I'm not going to be in Atlanta long enough, but I know exactly how to fuck this chick. I, I know exactly how to fuck this chick. And basically what I would make her do is she just actually texts me right before I cut this uh, camera on. Uh, happy Monday. Just now before I turn this camera on. And of course, I'm going to wait four hours to respond to it. But I know exactly how to fuck a bitch. All you got to do is make her do all the fucking chasing. Don't ask her no questions. Like she texts me happy Monday I'm not gonna text her happy Monday How your day going Or happy Monday How was your weekend No I'm gonna text her Hey thank you uh, Happy Monday to you too Alright I'm gonna make her do All the fucking chasing and pursuing Now I'm not gonna be in Atlanta So worst case scenario I'll tell her she gotta come Catch a flight to New York Alright if she ever asks to wanna see me Or something again Basically how you do a girl Like this guys is Your pursuit is over all right. If her interest in, if she done flaked on you twice or you done asked her out and she, I got to check my schedule, who the fuck you think you is? President, the president of the United States? Who the fuck? I got to check my schedule. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Guys, listen, I'm, a, I'm busy as shit, but I can tell you right now which nights I got available. Ain't nobody that fucking busy. Who the hell you... Oh my God, my head hurt. Who the hell do you think you is? Guys, y'all know how busy I am. I have Skype sessions. I still do training. I have a security company. Y'all see all this shit I got going on. And yet, I can tell you right now, okay, I got this evening available, that evening available, that evening available. I know exactly. I don't have to check my schedule. Then all that's the, if you say you got to check your schedule, once you have to check your schedule, let me check it right now. No, let me check my schedule and I'll get back with you in a couple days. So, guys, when you run into women like this, attention whore or girls who flaked on you and they interest has went back up or whatever the case may be, let them do all the fucking pursuing. Do not ask them out and do not ask them no questions. All right. And matter of fact, even if they asking you a bunch of questions after about three or four of them motherfuckers say you got to get back to work. All right. Eventually, she'll say something like, so when we going to get together and see each other, man, I'm so busy with work and shit, man. How about you come over for a drink? And see, here's the thing, guys. By you not doing the pursuing, now she got to fall in line with what you want. That's why I don't want you doing no pursuing. So a girl, this girl who I'm talking about in Atlanta, eventually what would happen by me not doing no pursuing, eventually what would happen Eventually, she would come around and say, hey, so when, when I'm going to see you again, when we going to get up again? And I would say something to the effect of, man, you know, I got a lot going on. You can come over and have a drink or whatever the case may be. She has no power to say no. She's been doing all the pursuing. So the guy that sent me this email, do not do no pursuing. Make her pursue you. Don't even ask her no questions. That's how you handle women like this. Flaky or attention whore. Even the fucking, uh, I told you guys, even about the pullback. Any of these things right here, guys, do y'all know it's a common thing with all these fucking things? It's about fucking power and control. All right? It's about making a woman in the weaker position. It's about putting you in a position of strength. It's about putting who's ever pursuing who is in the weaker position, guys. It's about putting you in this position of strength. All right? If she's pursuing you, you're in a position of strength. All right? That's why I don't want you asking her out. All right. If I probably asked her out again, she probably would say, I'm not going to do that because I want to be in a position of strength. If I ask her out, then now she's got the, the power to say, well, let's go. Let's meet out for a drink. Enough. If I let her pursue me, you're going to come over here and we're going to do what I want to do. So I want to be in a position of strength, guys. All right. So that's how you handle any of these girls, guys, guys. That's how you handle any of them. You let them do all the chasing and all the pursuing. Don't even ask them questions. All right, guys. And I had another good guy, another good question. A guy said, man, why are your book so cheap? All right, so this is a, a business question, guys. Let me tell y'all guys something, man. Cheaper always win the race. Always. All right. First of all, you need to know your audience. That's business one-on-one. -on -one. Who are you marketing to? Who is going to be the primary guys that need my book? Young guys, 
17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Guys, I've been 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And I can tell you right now, I know 10 bucks is a lot to a fucking 18 year old. All right, it's a lot. So more likely, that's probably an allowance. All right, so that's a lot. The number, the one thing y'all need to understand why a lot of dating coaches don't make some no money is I think they think they marketing to multi millionaires. They have these programs and this program is four hundred. I'm like, who the fuck is he marketing that shit to? I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. It's thirty year old, forty year old guys who you know learn game too. But eighty five percent of your business is gonna be young guys. And you gotta be an absolute fool. Trying to market some shit, $200, $300, $400 to a bunch of teenagers. And you know, that's just, just the idiot. That's why you see them struggling so much. That's why they can't make no fucking money because they're fucking idiots. Uh, even a lot of these dating coaches on their Patreon, they try to charge $10, $20. I'm talking about just for videos. Now, I ain't talking about no extra questions or nothing just to watch their video. And they want $10, $20. They just idiots. All right, guys. So please understand that in any business, who are you marketing to? When you see Gucci and Mercedes, and P P they they market into a higher end audience. All right. And matter of fact, if you're gonna market your product as a status symbol, then you probably need to make it even higher because people who want to buy status things, they want it to not be accessible to everybody. All right. So if you somebody like Mercedes or something, they'll probably do a markup. Just because they're trying to market to a specific audience, all right, like Bugattis and shit, they market to a specific audience, all right? They don't want to market to the average person. That's why you don't never see rappers and shit like that with Gucci um, contracts and sponsorships and shit because Gucci knows that people who follow Gucci, man, can't afford to buy their fucking products. So you'll see rappers and stuff, they'll wear Versace and Gucci and stuff like this, but they don't have no sponsorship sponsorship because the, the uh, people who run those companies know that the people that who your audience is can't afford my shit. So I'm not going to sponsor you. You can wear it, but I'm not going to sponsor you guys. So basically what I tell you guys that is you need to know your fucking audience. For all you guys who own your purpose and shit like this, you need to study who is your fucking audience. I could go on YouTube and check the analytics and see that most of my audience fall between 18 and 28. Guys who are just getting started in their career. Guys who ain't got shit. Guys who probably got $500 in the bank at best. Of course, you're going to have some, you know, guys, outliers out there, guys who've been on their purpose and shit and successful. But the average guy who's 21, 22 ain't got shit. So you'd be a fool trying to sell this book for $50, $60, and guys don't have it like that. Except when it come down to tricking. They got it then. But other than that, they don't got it. So that's the thing with that, guys. That's business 102. I gave y'all the business 101, how to build your business. Business 102 is learn your fucking audience. Who the hell are you marketing to? All right, I'm not marketing to a bunch of millionaires over here. All right, that's the bottom fucking line, guys. You ain't going to make no fucking money if you don't know who your fucking audience is. So that's for all you guys who own your purpose and trying to start your own business. You need to understand that. And do shit as cheap as you possibly can unless you're trying to market a status product, something that's purposely trying to market to the higher end people. All right, you can have a product like some glasses or shades or something like that or whatever your product is and you're trying to specifically target high end people. I get that. But if the average person is not going to have it, the average person is going to have a regular product marketing to the masses and cheaper wins the race, guys, every fucking time. All right. But getting back to the first point, guys, when you run into these girls like this who were flaky, who had low interest and shit like this and they reach back out. And I, like I said, I would not classify this as an attention whore. An attention whore, they reaches out every other day. Good morning. Hey, they do everything but set a fucking date. They'll reach out. They'll text you. They do all the fucking pursuing, but they don't want to do no fucking date. That's an attention whore. This, a flaky girl like this is a girl who had low interest or no interest, but she didn't know how to tell you no. And for whatever reason, maybe it was you walking away because the average guy, guys, I teach you guys this, the average guy does not walk away. The average guy will keep trying, keep trying. Low value motherfucker has no self respect. He'll keep pursuing, keep pursuing, even though the woman is showing him that she's not even interested. The fact that you walked away and it's been a month or two, her interest could have went up because you acted like a man who had options. All right, or she could have been fucking with somebody and it don't fills it out. Whatever the fucking case may be, it don't matter. You make her ass do all the fucking pursuing. And if she asks, finally asks you when to get to, when y'all gonna get together again, just invite her over. All right, guys. So that's how you handle these flaky bitches that come back into the picture. All right. All right, guys. Like the video. Comment down below. 
What y'all want to see next? Holler back.